goodness, steaks and scallops on the barbecue. I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm out of pictures. <laughs> Town Juno. Three cruise ships in today as we approach town. Hey everyone, welcome to another uh, Sea Venture map. Of course, yeah, you know, we just can't seem to have an episode without a map. The map has actually turned into something pretty cool because it's on the wall between our salon and pilot house and galley. And so we pass it dozens of times a day and now I stop and look at it all the time and look at all the cool places we've been. So it's kind of become almost sentimental. But in any event, in this episode, we start in Juneau, Alaska, where we pick up Ron and Mason, uh, my brother and his grandson. We cruise south from Juneau and go to Taku Harbor where we have a great time. We leave Taku Harbor and continue our journey south. We cross the bar into Tracy Arm and up into William Cove, where we spend the night. We then leave Tracy Arm and cross the bar into Endicott Arm. And in the video, I'll explain why we did it in this order. We cruise all the way up Endicott Arm, all the way up to the Dawes Glacier for a day trip. Nowhere to anchor up there. And then we wind our ways back dip into Ford's Terror for a moment and back we go back in across the bar to Tracy Arm back to William Cove for the night all right we're at the Mindenhall Glacier Visitor Center the glaciers over there behind the trees we'll see it later oh, there's a burgie in the bay a couple of them. it's actually a lake Mindenhall lake. lake yeah, yeah. at the base of the glacier so it's a little bit of a zoo here today because there are Se right. Seven Village. cruise ships in Juneau today. Good news, man. You have to get it out. So this uh, Nugget Falls was exposed in the 1950s. Uh, at that time, it was underneath the glacier. But uh, as the glacier receded, the falls were exposed. downtown Juneau, five cruise ships. Tons of tour buses. All right, we're at the Juneau Airport and we're awaiting the arrival of Ron and Mason coming from Louisiana. Yep, my brother, brother and his uh, grandson. So we're going to spend two weeks aboard Sea Venture in a wildly new experience especially for mason his grandson and uh, ron, ron has joined us before on the boat for uh, extended trips so uh, he's he, he's a he's veteran seasoned. he's a vet yep yep so anyway we're waiting for him to arrive see you soon all right Hey, hey! I like the shirts, yeah, guys. I like that. I like that. Hi. How you doing, kiddo? Good. All right. Run. Okay. 
okay. <laughs> and we are heading out of Juneau. There, <laughs> looks like there are one, two, three, four, five huge ships in town today. And we are gonna head that way. Off to Taku Harbor. Here's a look forward out the window. We're just north of Taku Harbor, south of Juneau. Fishing season is open and I've never seen so many fish boats. Here's a look at the radar. All of the targets are fish boats. We have lo uh, land here, an island land over here, and everything in between are targets of fish boats fishing. Commercial fish boats. Yes, all commercial boats. We are at a dock here in Taku Harbor. There's a cabin that can be reserved and you can see the dock here. that goes to shore and there's a short trail that takes you around to the buildings back behind that are um, remains of an old cannery. Okay, let's see you go. That way. Well, this is a pretty sweet little cabin. Yeah. All right, here we go. What have we got? Well, we got a big picnic table, wood stove, huge off the floor bunk, a loft. Here, there's a stair ladder there, right there. You get up under the loft. Watch your head. It's got a little ceiling. It's got. Sweet. Clothes line for hanging your clothes. Your wet clothes, you bet. It's got a stainless steel table. Nice. And a picture of Tiger Olson in 1970. And this cabin is named after him. It comes complete with toilet paper and paper towels. And lanterns. Two lanterns. And a okay. Can you open the cabinet? please. Well, yeah. Some rope and things. Taku Cabin. Oh. 2018. And comes with a drink wine bottle. <laughs> yes, sir. There we go. What a great sweet cabin. And a rock. What a sweet deal. Look at this. Oil stove and operation. Huh. That's an oil? Yeah, that's what it says. Hmm. Huh. And this is information on Taku Harbor. Yeah, it's just, literally, it's like walking through Stonehenge or something. This is really you know, incredible. This was a dock, you know, at one time. You know, yeah, or a pier or something. It's yeah. just the slimy uh, seaweed. Know, I mean, this was a salmon processing plant. So. Yeah, a cannery. It's going down. It's going down? <laughs> yeah. I wonder if this was an electric motor at one time. A huge electric motor. These are the windings. Yeah, they are. These are the windings. This was an electric motor.
harbor here tonight at Taku Bay. There must be 40 fish boats anchored in the bay tonight with this active fishing right in this area right now. It's just awesome. All right, we're still at Taku Harbor and I just wanted to point out this little boat here. This is, I think, 22 or 28, I'm not sure, foot motor sailor and is owned by a gentleman by the name of Ralph. And he has lived in Alaska for the last six years just cruising around. So he anchors in a bay in the winter and maybe after a month or so he'll move again. There you can see him down there with his motor sailor. I'm sorry, with his kayak that is also a sailing kayak. And Ron and Mason are out observing what he's up to. But um, he's just one of the many characters, many people we met here at the dock. We met um, a family from the Juneau area who came on this little skiff and there are five of them and they're renting the cabin that we showed you earlier that's up on the beach. Um, there was another fish boat from Juneau, another fish boat from, he said his um, boat said it was from Wrangell, but he's actually from the Seattle area and he comes up and fishes in the summer and he's a carpenter in the winter. Actually, we bought a fish from him, so that was pretty fun. Um, behind us was another fish boat, another cruiser. There was uh, Tony Fleming from Fleming Yachts and I think that was it for yesterday. So anyway, uh, we had an opportunity to meet some really interesting people here at the dock. Um, Ralph, I think, has captured our imagination just because he can live, frankly, on the land in his small little motor sailor year-round in Alaska. Wow. Yeah, look at you go, brother. We are leaving Taku Harbor. We left Ralph back there at the dock. It's amazing. This is all. Put that all at once. Current line, line outside of Tracy. Birdie bits right there in the water. Oh no, those are birds. Never mind. <laughs> Icebergs now in the water all around as we approach the entrance to Tracy Arm. We're uh, cruising in uh, the bay by Tracy Arm. Mason is with us, Jim's driving, and we just wanted to check out the bay and see what's here. There are 
hard fergie bits in the bay. We're gonna go find one. Let's see if we can get a sense of how much is above and below the water. You can see it under the water. Looks like a foot below. Yeah, it is. Oh, shoot, I pushed it over. I didn't think I could. Wakes in the dinghy. Holy moly! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! From the cruise ship. Yeah. That was pretty. That was a wicked one. That was pretty good. <laughs> Look at it not move from the waves. Yeah. And we're in 400 feet of water. This sucker is huge. Look at that. And you can see how it's kind of eroded right around the water line. Yeah, that's how, that's how come they get top heavy and roll. But I can't tell if it's, I just see reflection, I think, in the water. Yeah, I don't, can't see underwater. I can't see how much of it is underwater. A lot. Yeah, I think oh, so. Because it is not moving at all. Pretty cool, huh? That is really cool. All right, there's Mason, way up top, checking things out because it's actually really cool here. It's Thursday morning, and we've been anchored last night in No Name Bay inside the Tracy Arm Bar, the entrance to Tracy Arm here. Now, it's a little, it's a cloudy and overcast today and the forecast is for it to clear up later today. So we're going to take this opportunity to go out of the Tracy Arm Bar, around and in the Endicott Arm Bar and go up Endicott Arm, see how far we can go before we're stopped by ice and save our Tracy Arm voyage, which is up that way for tomorrow when it's supposed to be clear and 70 degrees. Just outside Endicott Arm, where we're seeing some whales this morning. Yes. Oh man, did you see that? Yeah. I don't know how we get through these guys. I guess just wait for them to go to the side. There's a little seal here waiting for the leftovers of whatever the whales don't want. Where? This guy right oh, here. Right yeah. Yeah. Oh man. I have never seen so many tails. That's okay. 
you out the front window as we head up in the cot arm today. Big cow! Did you see it, Rosie? It's yeah. Yeah. Right Sweet. Yeah. Good eye, Ron. Was that with binoculars? No. No. Well, I happened to be filming there, so I just got lucky. Wow. Thank you for watching this episode of Cruising Sea Venture. Remember, if you have any comments or questions, you can always leave them in the comment section on YouTube, or you can always email us at cruisingseaventure at gmail.com. Join us next time as we check out Tracy Arm and then go on to see what we can do to find some grizzly bears. So that's next time. Until then, wishing you no, no wind, wind and flat, flat seas. seas. Bye, Bye for now. now.